Hi, lovely YouTubers. Um, just want to make a video um, on this um, mid well that I modified um, to use a Euro torch connector um, from um, the original torch which came with it. Um, so if you've uh, there's a video I've been welding using this weld and a couple of people have been asking me how did they do the, do the modification to to swap um, to this Euro torch connector so I thought I'll make another video so what I did was um, so the original one came with a straight connector and it got a really crappy torch um, um, and I've been always welding with these MB24 torches it feels quite good on your hand um, and um, just want to make make the modification this is one of the best welders I've used I'm running some um, 0.9 mil um, stand, um, gasless MIG wire um, so in order to do that what you have to do is you need to buy one of these connectors I think they were like it comes with the Eero torch convert I think it was called on YouTube I'll quickly redu reduce the volume I got my mom with me um, she got quite bad dementia so got the TV running I've been looking after her a couple of months now with my sister um, so yeah, you need to get one of these um, Euro Torch converters from um, eBay. If you look at them, and a uh, 24 volt motor, MIG weld motor. And what I did was, um, let's turn the power off. Hey, Echo, ready to go for a run? Ready to go for a run? I've been doing 510Ks every day. So just wait until the um, evening comes to go for a run so the original one had a had a motor here can't even remember how it was anyway what you gotta do is you gotta cut a slot there i'll turn this lights on so you can see it much better got a few projects happening so this is a bit of a mess so yeah you need to cut a bit of a slot there and epoxy and you got to cut this whole bit off and i did a i put a new plastic bit and measured where the holes went for this housing and that bottom has to be fully made as well so the initial one went like that i think and that was empty so I have to literally I got a bit of stainless steel um, had a hot like a hot gun uh, hot soldering iron and I, I wonder if you can see it here I literally got a stainless steel mesh oh, you can see it down there yeah so you have to get the soldering iron and push that stainless steel into the parent plastic and then started epoxying the new parts so it took me about a good day to get that whole thing worked out and that has to be fully done all these curves have to be done uh, I had to do a bit of modifications there um, these connectors are the same only other thing I had to do is I'll take this off so there's a bit of mucking around trying to get this earth lead to touch that thing there uh, and as you can see there's a bit of a the initial I had the initial cut there and I couldn't open this so I had to take the whole thing again and get it so I could take that take the wire off um, in terms of soldering um, 
that is the original wire to the plus hold on so that's sorry that's the plus and that's the negative yeah that goes into the negative cable so i had to get one of these ones too did i glue that yeah i did so oh my god you got your hair's gone everywhere my that's what I want to do. I need to put a mesh here to stop this dog hair getting in. Because the fan's down back there. And it just drags all this dust. So I'm going to put a mesh here. Anyway, uh, yep. So I got one of these connectors too. For the earth lid. And I epoxy glued it. So that there's no soldering there. Just a nut connecting that wire. So you need to get a new wire. A uh, new wire like that. I think I got it from the earth lid, which came with the. I cut a bit of piece. Yeah, I've cut two pieces. Yeah, that's right. I cut a piece from the earth lid, and I connected it like that. And that one goes and connected to a nut there. So you can swap these two. So if you're doing gasless MIG welding, you have a positive earth. And with gas, you got the negative, you just got to swap it around. So that's how I did it. Um, so I glued it. I'll show you the glue I used. There's a little $2 shop around the, in the sh corner. So use one of these glues to do all the, um, all the boxing. It's a two part, it's quite strong. Uh, and I did in a quite warm day, so it, it, blew, it cured quite quickly as well so yeah now it's running pretty good um, happy with it in terms of any modifications i would do is i want to put a switch here somewhere so when i'm using gasless the gas regulator which is somewhere here, I think. Yeah, it turns on and off. Um, I'll show you. Uh, see the noise? That's actually gas. Try it because when you're in gasless mode, you don't need gas coming out. So I wouldn't mind turning that thing off when I'm on gasless to save its life. And also I would use a variable speed, a 24 to 40 volt variable speed PWM controller hooked up somewhere so I could change the, I'll probably put it here, somewhere here, I actually drill a hole there too. So I could change the voltage which is going to the motor because the initial motor parameters I think it's a little bit different to the 24 um, these universal motors which comes on you eBay they were like $70 or something that was 30 that was like $10 so yeah that's pretty good so you can get the wire speed up Q-set? Yeah, I am. Oh, no, I'm on manual. So if you're on Q-set, it changes the thickness as I go the wire speed. I mean, in welding, that, whereas on manual, it's actually the voltage. You can check the voltage and the amps. There's the amps. I can't remember where the amps were. Yeah, that's the other reason I was going to, I got this, to change it to Euro connected. The other reason was so I can use a spool gun to do aluminium. So I'm planning to build a boat one day. Um, and hopefully, it's such an amazing weld. I love welding with this. I had a couple of different other welders. I got a SIG weld and it's so lightweight. You can just carry it everywhere. So in terms of tools, what I use for the job, um, 
And most of the cutting was done with this Dremel tool. Um, I also got a, when the battery runs, a couple of places I couldn't get the speed. So use that. Um, cutting wheels, these ones were used quite a lot to cut them. And these burring bits were amazing. So they were used quite extensively to do most of the cutting. Um, and then once the glue got dried, yeah, use the same ones to make it nice and smooth. Use a couple of these ones to take the ex excess epoxy off. Um, so these are called, I can't remember, remember. So they just hook on like that. And goes in here. And then you can attach your impact drill. I was going to actually weld. Did I weld one? No, that was a, that's a, yeah, that's a normal one. I was going to weld one of these. Um, one eighth inch into that, so I could use that in here. Just a project, but didn't get to it, couldn't get it done. So, use that set to do all the sanding, that to do all the cutting. I'll use a couple of these flaps too, I think, at one stage. And also use this tool to put some plastic welding um, to reinforce. So this is just a, put one of these little pieces in here. And then you just, you can put it where a joint is and reinforce that and then put some glue on top which makes it quite strong so yeah so they're the main tools used to make that ESAP Caddy 200i big welder into convert it into a Euro torch and a removable earth clamp so yeah, a few, few people have been asking me how I did that, so just thought I'll make a video. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Until the next one, take care.